is here to unveil her golden tricks for a front porch that's frightfully delightful <laughs> and bone chillingly inviting. <laughs> I have to say it like that. I love it. So we should start off with candy. Yes, we should. Right, because it is the season. Here should. you go. Hey! Hey! <laughs> so much like I can't even tell you this is so your time it's so this is like in my head right now I get to bring it to life yes I'm so excited so if we want to have like if we Halloween's coming up it's just around the corner we have sort of a short period of time well unless you're LA <laughs> like, no she's like I do this long. for six months yeah. but if you want to do some decor on your front porch and you want to go big uh, I feel like you have some tips for us you can go big and you can do it with some amazing store brought, bought products yes. or you can also do a little DIY uh -huh. and I wanted to share a picture of one of my very first city line projects for Halloween okay. which I still put out every single year and that is some pool oh, noodles yeah. with dollar store tights and shoes from the thrift store that sit on my front porch every year so and it's good. just kind of become like one of those feel-good funny moments but if you don't want to DIY you can buy <laughs> This just cracked me up when I saw it. <laughs> so I found this and the other inflatables from the Home Depot. And not only is it like inflatables are great to start with because they're so comical. Yeah. But this one lights up and as you can see is animatronic. What I love most about it too is that it's like kind of sporadic. Like yes. she's really having her moment there. <laughs> and just the details with the ooze coming down. So hilarious. So much big impact but also stores so small, yes. which is so incredible. Yes, and the, the other thing I like about inflatables is like you need one. Right. You can be sort of a lazy decorator Absolutely. and just put one big thing on your lawn. It's like, oh, she's in the Halloween spirit. Right? Totally. <laughs> put out the inflatable, put it on a timer. Yes. You don't have to think about it. So it comes on when dusk falls and you're good yeah. to go. The one that's nice. beside you, I also love, is just a great that's statement cute. piece. If you've got kind of a grand front entrance, two of these on the other side of your yes. door. Again, just brings that, that whimsy of Halloween. Yeah. Because again, it's almost like a Very real sweet. life cartoon character. Like a bunch of pumpkins. Like an, right. It's like an Olaf, though. It's like half. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right? If you want to have happy decorations. And they stole the witch's hat, obviously. So Clearly. they kind of go part and parcel. Yes. They totally do. Okay, what else do we have going on here? Do you want to talk lights? I love talking lighting yes. because I think that's another way that you can introduce a few select pieces and at nighttime it immediately captures your eye and really creates a moment. Yes. So you can go something as small as these little uh, skull stakes. These are actually, they come strung together and they have little garden That's stake so there. Cute. And what I love about these, they're on a battery pack, so you don't need to worry about running wires. Yeah. But you can use these to light your walkway. So again, yes. the safety element. And you, you might not think that that's a lot of light. It actually is a lot of light at night that it comes is. out of the eyes. So okay. that's a great little feature. I also I, like putting in the planters, though. That's cute. Absolutely. And you know what, actually, is talking about planters, you've got a buddy right beside you yeah. there hey. with the glowing eyes, hey. <laughs> right? Who's so I. <laughs> I love the high five factor. Now, yeah. I'm sure everyone has seen the quintessential 13 foot tall skeleton from the yes. Home Depot this season. Yes. We couldn't fit it in here, yes. but this is the miniature version of him. What I would actually do is put that near your front door. It comes on a stand, which is great. If you still have a planter, with dead plants in it from the summer, nobody's judging. I do. Then <laughs> this works perfectly with the Halloween theme. Keep your dead plants and maybe put that on top of your planter with all of like the dead gooey flowers underneath and just it. make it a scene, a little vignette moment at your front door. I like that I can tell my neighbors that it was intentional. Right. <laughs> I just I've left them this. there waiting for Halloween. Yes, for exactly. Halloween and Don't put the ditch sky them in. yet. But Very again, smart. the little LED glowing eyes on those. Yeah. Also, the LED glowing eyes on my spiders. Yes. Ditch the fall wreath for Halloween and think about just putting something like this or a couple of them. You can use the 3M hooks nice. to put them up temporarily on your door. Yeah. And the big one is just they're hilarious. They're actually gross. They're actually, they're very they're gross. They're actually kind of gross. You can pet it, you can name Ooh. it. <laughs> yeah. But they're also just really fun. They yeah, have that great. whimsy to them. And speaking of lighting, yes. I think one of my favorite things that I scored this season were these light bulbs. I found these on Amazon. So these have, you can see the little flame that's in them. Yeah. And if you actually turn them upside down, it actually switch, switches the direction of the light cool. so that whether you have an up light or down light, it looks like the flame's going in the, in the right direction for you. Yes. I put these outside of my own house. 
The effect is amazing because it still gives you enough light yes. to be safe again, lighting up your walkways. Yeah. But I want to show you one other thing that we're looking at now that I used to light up the front of my home. Okay. I did, uh, this is where DIY kicked in. I oh, went to the dollar so store and bought yes. some. <laughs> I bought some Bristol ah. board or some some Bristol, what do you call it, the, the paper. Bristol, yeah, Bristol board. board. Yeah, Bristol yeah. board, that's it. And cut out these little alien silhouettes. We see them in behind here too. You can put these in your window, just literally scotch tape them in the window. So super inexpensive. You can cut out ghosts, you can cut out witches, you can cut out anything that you want, some bats. Oh, they're so good. And then I used an EcoSmart light bulb in a lamp yeah. that I took the shade off of behind the window. So then you get that silhouette yeah. at night. And what I really love about the EcoSmart bulbs is there's the, the, an app for them so you can change the color of them depending on the theme for your space love it you can also be lying in bed and think oh we forgot to turn off all of the halloween decorations and turn it off from your yes. bed right yes which i love very good the other thing these are so adorable i, love that. I found these on amazon yes. they're just like I think, again, that kind of cartoon, fun, whimsical element yes. of Halloween. Yes. So they light up. I tuck these into my planters, but they also come with a hook. So yeah. you could either hang these from a tree, put them in your bushes, or what I think would also be hilarious, speaking of windows, is hang them from some fishing wire and have them peeking through curtains in your house. Oh. Little peepers, your right? Brain. Jeepers creepers. This whole segment, I'm like, watch out, someone's trying to kick you in your head. <laughs> <laughs> if you left everything in this segment and you want it for yourself, scan the QR code on your screen. That's where you can shop everything in the 